Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today going to be discussing our new roster for the Buffalo Bills, the Super Bowl champions, the reigning Super Bowl champions in your Buffalo Bills. Head on into season number two of the TFGO League in Madden NFL 19, especially following the free agent and draft period, the NFL draft period that we've already gone through. In this offseason, again, as we head on into season number two to take on the Philadelphia Eagles, which I'll actually be hopefully, possibly, potentially uploading. And there was some errors with this game and some disconnects, so I may not end up uploading it, but probably still will look to edit and upload that. It actually did already occur, so I'll be heading on into week number two against the Jets pretty soon. But going back to the main point of this video, which is emphasizing the updates to our roster and the adjustments that I've decided to make in the retooling phase for this roster again as we try to reassert ourselves and refocus our sights or realign our sights on yet another Super Bowl title another Super Bowl run so we have Josh Allen at the helm who's undergone some incredible development over the past year now up to superstar development some good throwing passing range right here deep accuracy 85 mid short throwing the run pretty solid there still looking to you know increase those numbers a little bit just so we can get into that elite category he's in the upper echelon though as of right now I would argue and one of the big points of emphasis I really look to cover in this offseason was the older vet players that I feel needed to be replaced by some younger talent and that was established with some positions like the halfback spot with LaShawn McCoy at age 31, uh, Dukas, Jerry Hughes and Vontae Davis. Those are some guys that I was kind of looking, okay, I'm going to need to get some depth. There's some some youth behind those players. Regardless of the impact they've had in the past, definitely uh, wanted to try to get some younger talent behind them. So that's what I really went out and did. I ended up signing, or not signing, excuse me, drafting Michael Jordan, <laughs> the Michael Jordan out of the Ohio State University rookie left guard, age 21. Quick development. This was our second, actually, draft pick in our uh, in our draft I think he was our second round pick first round pick was actually Joe Jackson out of Miami to try to reduce the loss or the uh, the impact of the loss of Jerry Hughes in the future with 74 finesse move 72 block shed good strength speed acceleration pretty athletic defensive lineman from Miami so glad to have him on the squad defensively didn't did definitely make it a point of emphasis to get stronger in the secondary so that's why i ended up going out and signing jason brett in free agency who was the best cornerback out there on the market 80 man coverage 76 zone decent press but very solid across the board age 28 a good vet out of la kyle van noy was a guy that i wanted to share up the linebacker court a little bit with so we got him as a starting outside linebacker he's going to be very solid in my opinion in our 335 package where we'll rock out three linebackers including Julian Stanford and Tremaine Edmonds. Speaking of Julian Stanford, he actually underwent some very good progression in terms of his ratings over the past season. You see good hit power, speed, the awareness is up to 80 now. Zone coverage is nearly at 70, so our linebackers are looking a little bit uh, more sure in coverage. And obviously Tremaine Edmonds is going to be a beast for years to come, only 21 years of age, and he's already an absolute monster freak of nature pretty is white defense is looking pretty solid i'm pretty happy with what we have here I ended up getting or acquiring some more depth with bo allen at the defensive tackle spot trading away our starting center from last year actually in russell bodine i felt confident in starting ryan groy ahead of him so i ended up trying to get some more defensive depth and signing bo allen uh, malden also is going to be a, a, a good player for us as he's been uh, in the past year, I believe we signed him on a two-year extension, if I'm not mistaken. And he was very good for third down pass rushing plays and scenarios. Trent Murphy is still under contract for two years, so I'm really liking this defense. I like this. I'm liking this defensive unit a lot. We have some good speed. We're not a hitting unit by any stretch. We're we're not really. Uh, we don't really have big hitters anywhere aside from Tremaine Edmonds, uh, to be completely honest. So. Forcing fumbles in that regard is not going to be something we do, but I feel like in coverage we are more than capable, and they're a very hard-working unit. We're very bend but don't break, and we, we can definitely make some plays on the football, especially with our safeties in Poyer and Hyde. So now transferring or transitioning to the offensive side of the ball for us, there has been some adjustments being made 
most notably in my opinion with the receiving core you know we actually went out and signed tyrell williams who in my opinion is going to be a huge supplement to josh allen's ability to throw the football down the field 92 speed 93 acceleration 94 agility 64 frame 83 spec catch 91 jumping uh, he's going to be part of our tree package that we roll out in the red zone along with colin johnson out of the university of texas six foot six wide receiver 21 years of age 85 spec catch 88 jump 84 catching traffic 81 catching already at the age of 21 he's going to be a stud for us in the red zone and all over the field once we actually have some of our other receivers start to age a little bit which fortunately for us won't be here for a while because kelvin benjamin's only 28 tyrell's 27 and kevin white our fourth string guy right now or actually going to be our starting slot is 27 so we got some pretty good youth and i'm feeling way better about our ability to throw the football all over the field with these receivers than i did week one last year I mean, we were rocking out with kelvin benjamin uh, ray ray mcleod was solid and he's still going to be utilized with us this year and he's done very well but you see his overall he's not the greatest player in the world at 69 overall and, and then we had to go we, at the beginning of the season we only had andre holmes starting opposite kelvin benjamin i mean Curley and Coleman were guys that we had for depth, and then we ended up going out and trading for Kevin White because I wanted a, a speedy player to, you know, cause some damage downfield. And then we ended up going out and signing Tyrell, drafting Colin Johnson, uh, just feeling way more comfortable with what we have to work with on the offensive side of the football in general. Speaking of the offensive side of the football, ended up going out and signing Matt Breida actually as of late for depth. McKissick is still on the team. I believe he'll be on the team for one or two more seasons. Let's check real quick on this what his what his status is yeah he'll be on the team for two more years very good receiving option and then LaShawn McCoy is still under contract for one year still gonna be a great player uh, but Damian Harris actually is the starter he is the guy the go-to player for us out of the University of Alabama Damian Harris was my number one option so definitely wanted to go and add him to the team because he is the future for this franchise in terms of running back position 80 stiff arm 90 acceleration 90 agility extraordinarily balanced running back and he's going to be a beast for us, in my opinion. I think he's going to be very effective. And for some reason, doesn't show him as the number one guy. It really should. We'll make that quick adjustment. But that's pretty much what the roster is looking like, to be honest with you. I mean, nothing that... Or actually, nothing too crazy, I would say, with an overhaul. But definitely made some adjustments. And I'm very excited for this team. I'm way more confident in our team's abilities this year in terms of talent and my usage with this team than I was in the past year. Also, because of the yards per completion rule and being at 15 and our tendency to throw the whole ball down the field with regularity, we actually ended up going out and signing Ryan Fitzpatrick, a former Buffalo Bill making his return because he's going to be a guy that is going to be able to come in if or should Josh Allen get suspended and do some damage because you know he's got the veteran experience. He knows how to sling the rock around the field and he's going to be a great addition as a backup quarterback for this franchise in the future so definitely pumped for this year and what we're going to be able to do we'll take a look at the schedule real quick so you guys get a preview of the teams we're going to be going up against philadelphia eagles week one new york jets washington redskins la chargers always a tough opponent there since the Bengals are going to be taking on the afc north and believe it or not actually the former ravens owner is going to be gone uh from last year so we have a new guy we're going to see how good he is and in this AFC East division is going to be difficult as per usual against the Patriots and the Dolphins along with the Jets. So definitely looking forward to this season. That's exactly what I wanted to show you guys, just the roster and, and the new adjustments we've been making. Definitely looking forward to this season, but that is going to be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more TFGO League content surrounding yours truly, the Buffalo Bills, and what we're going to be doing down the road with this roster and goals for the future of Super Bowl success and Super Bowl continuity, Super Bowl championship continuity, that is, with this team. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.